from the Ford Sports Desk, KOMU 8 Sports. Good morning, Mid-Missouri. I'm Megan Rice. The Missouri men's basketball team plays at Texas A&M tonight, where the Tigers look to find their groove away from Mizzou Arena, which hasn't been an easy thing. Mizzou still looking for their first road win of the season. Missouri is 0-4 in road games and 0-3 in conference road games. So much for Southern Comfort, right? The Tigers have fallen behind early in all three of those SEC road losses, something that certainly stands out for the players and Coach Frank Haight. I don't think they gave him as much heartache as we have this year. But um, like I said, next game, hopefully he don't Come have on, to have. Come on, beat my heartaches. I'm talking about that. <laughs> <laughs> hopefully, hopefully um, next game we won't have to, you know, have that encounter with Coach. I want to think about his health, too. Yeah. 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 Well, if you love Missouri basketball, you should certainly love this. The Kansas Jayhawks got rocked and chalked up back-to-back -back losses. After losing to TCU last night, 62-55, to just to give you an idea of how big of an upset this was, the Horned Frogs, a 4.5% chance of winning, according to a BPI game predictor. Coach Bill Self, yeah, not so happy. No, it was the worst team that Kansas has ever put on the floor since Dr. Naismith was there. I think he had some bad teams when he lost to Topeka YMCA and things like that uh, uh, in the first couple of years. But but for, for the first half, there, there hasn't been a team play worse than that offensively. No, that, that hasn't happened. The great thing was we had three assists on our three baskets. So, yeah, so we were really sharing the ball. Well, at least he's uh, staying positive, right? All right, moving on, yesterday's National Signing Day marks one of the biggest days of the year for high school athletes. It's always a great day. The athletes bust out their hats while the coaches and players welcome the rookies with open arms. Missouri football coach Gary Pinkle announced his recruits yesterday, which include 20 players, 11 of which are from right here in the Show Me State in Missouri. Coach P says the move to the SEC had a positive effect on recruiting. The coaches do a great job in this state. You know, I think the, the football has improved year after year since, you know, since I've been here. And they do, but they do a great job. And uh, we, very, we work very hard at relationships. And I think, the, I think that ultimately what sells our program, uh, it, you know, whether it's in Dallas or it's in Kansas City or St. Louis, is your players that go back home. Okay, and go back to their high schools, and that they graduate and they've had success and they win and they go to bowls. That's the biggest selling that you're going to get. Well, you don't have to go too far to find one Mizzou's biggest signees. Literally the biggest, six foot one, 315 pound AJ Logan of Rockbridge will move right on down Providence for football next year. Logan is one of the six defensive linemen Mizzou signed. He finished with 94 tackles, six and a half sacks, and four forced fumbles in his senior year. It's surreal. It feels great to know that it's finally behind me. I know that my college is going to be paid for and try and uh, build on to that line of great D tackles that have come from Mizzou to get to the NFL and to be a part of that and be a role model for other people. It feels good. Another mid-mo player staying close to home, Jefferson City's linebacker Joey Burkett. Burkett is one of the first players in his class to commit with Missouri. He made 76 tackles and three sacks in eight games before his injured ankle his senior season. Ever since I was little, I've always wanted to play for Mizzou. I remember sitting in the stands watching Mizzou games as a little kid and just always having that dream of one day playing for the Tigers. Among the others to sign with the Tigers, running back Anthony Sherrills of Hogan Prep in Kansas City. Sherrills, 5'11", 180 pounds, rushed for 1,600 yards and 19 touchdowns. He also played basketball and participated in track and field. Offensive lineman Harnit Gill of Francis Howell High School in St. Louis. Gill, 6'6", 280 pounds. He was team captain his senior year and also played basketball at Francis Howell. Defensive back Aaron Penton of CBC in St. Louis. He's 5'10", 185 pounds, made two interceptions. He also played on offense and special teams and scored 13 touchdowns for the cadets. And then finally, another look here at offensive lineman Alec Abelin of St. Louis University High. Abelin, 6'3", 280 pounds, played center left and left tackle in high school. He also wrestled and played volleyball for the Junior Bills. His mom, interestingly enough, Julie was Truman the Tiger while a student at Mizzou. The Tigers hope to sign highly regarded running back Ezekiel Elliott from John Burroughs High School in St. Louis, but Elliott is leaving Missouri 
to play for the Ohio State Buckeyes. Elliott's dad, Stacy, played defensive end for Missouri under Bob Stoll, and his mom competed in track and field for the Tigers. ESPN rates Missouri's recruiting class last in the SEC and 38th nationally. Seven of the top 11 nationally rated schools are from this Southeastern Conference. And that'll do it for sports. And, well, hey, at least Kansas is losing, right? Right. <laughs> right. That's always good news, right? Yeah, I saw somebody post on Facebook it's something about, like, this is what it feels like for Missouri fans when Kansas loses. And it was that <laughs> clip from Seinfeld where they go crazy. It was, it's pretty old. But it was, well, it was we all like to see the Jayhawks fall down. Yeah, right? And exactly. Seinfeld, right? you got to love Seinfeld. Got to love it. Thanks. <laughs> Megan. Let's take a live look now over in Missouri there. That's like the Ozarks. Your time is 5.52.